Morning, you Simeon. Leave peacefully or I'll call Mr. Corinthos, sir, and he'll dispatch his protectors of the night. Benelli, please. You were careless with the most beautiful, insensitive heart. If I were fair Lulu, I would banish not, you from... Benelli. Let him stay. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, but I implore you, do not fall for the unworthy one's false protestations. Look, okay, I know you still care about me. If you didn't, you wouldn't be here hiding. Are you adding insult to injury by calling me a coward? No, I'm not, Lulu. I'm trying to get you to face how you really feel. How I really feel? Yes. I think I can do that. That slap doesn't even scratch the surface of how angry I am at you, and it doesn't even come close to how mad I am at myself. I was so stupid. I ate up your garbage like it was candy. No, no, it was not garbage. I care about you in a still Liar! Hate. Liar! I should have trusted my initial instincts about you, the one that screamed danger jerk ahead, but instead uh, I let you talk me into believing that it was some act protecting your wounded and vulnerable heart. Uh, that, that underneath all your macho crap there was a decent guy. Well, jokes on me, jerk was a compliment. Uh, Lulu, I lied, all right? And I admitted that, but not about my feelings for you. <laughs> yeah, you said some pretty words, I'll give you that. Did you get all poetic with Maxie, no. too? Did you tell her how beautiful and special she was while you were getting it on in the same bed was, you had me? It was not like that with Maxie. She goaded me into that. Oh, yeah. Well, Maxie was the prize, and I was the bet. Oh, my God. I can hear her now. Everybody wants me. I know you do. All you have to do is get Lulu into bed and stomp on her heart. Lulu, making that stupid deal was the biggest mistake of my life. Okay? But in some strange way, I owe Maxie. If I had not gone along with that plan, I never would have gotten a chance to spend time with you and realize how incredible you actually are. Please! You used me. You knew how defensive and vulnerable I was, and you got right in there and you took advantage. No. <clears throat> no, it was not like that, okay? Somewhere along the line, that all changed. For both of us. It got real. I know it did. Yeah, I was a sucker. But I'll tell you one thing, it's never gonna happen again. Now get out. Please, just give me a chance get to finish. Get out, or I will call the protectors of the night myself. All right. I'll give up one. Fair one was forceful and magnificent. Are you okay? No, not even close. <laughs> Tripping all over himself. He's so sorry. What did you tell him? I don't know. I don't know. A bunch of things. I smacked him and I told him to get out. Oh, good for you. Is it? You're not really asking me that question. I know. I know it sounds crazy, but as, as mad as I was, as mad as I am, I... Part of me is happy that, that he cares enough to keep trying. This isn't good, Lolo. This isn't good for you at all. Don't look at me like that. A lot of people screw up and, and and big and they get forgiven. Think of all the things that you've done. Okay, I get that. Let's talk about what's important. Trust. Do you trust Logan? <sighs> Honestly, no. There's your answer. There you go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I get the urge to want to save the bad guy, okay? I get the urge to want to pull him back from the brink of self-destruction. I know what it's like to want to be the one thing his life revolves around. But it's not a one-time only thing, Lulu. It's a way of life. He will smash your heart, wallow in guilt, and beg for your forgiveness. And you know what? You'll forgive him. You will. And you're riding the wave. You're up, you're down, you're all around. And life will be great for a while. But before you know it, the cycle will start again. It's going to happen. When you finally meet a man, he is who he is. And you need to see him for who he is. And I don't want to see Logan taking you on an emotionally abusive trip. You don't deserve it. Nobody does. Hi, 
I'm sorry. I know he's been here for a while and he refuses to leave. Mike is in the back. He's already told him not to start trouble. It's okay. It's okay. I'm actually, I'm, I'm very glad Logan is here. <clears throat> I was going to call you, but it's better to say these things face to face. All right, get it over with. I'm a bitch, yada, yada, yada. You are, but that's not where I'm going. If it hadn't been for you lying and sleeping around, I might have gone on believing Logan's bull, and that would have made me worse off than I am now. So for exposing Logan for the pig that he is, I'm eternally grateful. <laughs>